This is Henley Year One. Latin Henley Year One, page 117. Exercise 132. Punyabat ne semper Romani. Were the Romans always fighting? Parabat ne frumentum post longum iter. Was he preparing grain after the long journey? Monte sit silvas at flumina galliae. The mountains, this is, these are the direct objects, the mountains and forests and rivers of Gaul, lauda betis, y'all praise. Y'all praise the mountains and rivers and forests of Gaul. <clears throat> Punyabatne in itinere romani cum gallis. Were the Romans fighting on the journey with the Gauls? Erant ne post bellum multa corpora in fluminibus et silvis. Here's an expletive. Were there, after the war, many bodies in the rivers and forests? Suntne impedimenta et legiones in agmine. <clears throat> Is are there uh, baggage and uh, legions in the battle line, in the column? Lauda basne nomen Mariae. Were you praising the name of Mary? Propter vulnera longum iter non fecerent. On account of wounds, they did not make a long journey. Superatne exercitus Romanus Gallos. <clears throat> exercitus Romanus. Here, Romanus is an adjective. The Roman army. Did the Roman army conquer the Gauls? <clears throat> Orabantne semper homine sancti. Were um, holy men always praying? Legem et veritatem Christi semper laudabo. I will always praise the law and the truth of Christ. Tatne imperator sinium. Did the empire, it's not, it's not empire, did the general give a sign? Dantne Romani copiam frumenti gallis post orationem principis. Did the Romans give a supply of grain to the Gauls after the speech of the leading man. Volcabitne prima luce conturio equites. Will the centurion, in the future tense, will the centurion call at first light the cavalry? <clears throat> will the centurion call the cavalry at dawn? Oratne Christiani in nomine Christi. Do Christians pray? In the name of Christ. Fecerat ne semper galli impetum in agmina Romanorum. Will the Gauls. No. Did the Gauls always make a charge on the column of the Romans? Erat ne manius pons in alto flumine. Was there a large bridge on the deep river? Opunyabantne Gali Hiberna. Were the Gauls attacking the winter quarters? Victoriam et Gloriam Christi Larabamus. We were praising the victory and glory of Christ. Laudabatne Imperator Centurionem Propter Maniam Virtutem et Multa Vulnera. <coughs> Was the general praising the centurion on account of his great on account of great virtue and many wounds. Dantne reges mania primia amicis. Do kings give to their friend to friends great rewards. Ocupabitne coles will he occupy the hills? Interim propter gratiam caesaris Galli frumentum in hiberna porta. Meanwhile, excuse me, on account of the grace of Caesar, the Gauls carry 
grain into the winter into winter quarters. Orabatne nauta propter vulnerametum. Does the sailor was the sailor praying on account of the fear of wounds? Parabatne dux frumentum et gladius. Does the leader was the leader preparing grain and swords? Christum regem gloriae laudabimus. We will praise Christ, the King of Glory. Quis loca occupavat? Who was occupying that place? Those places. I mean, not those, just places. In the plural accusative. <clears throat> Puniabatne equitatus in silvis was the horseman fighting in the forest. Portabatne servimanium gladiorum numerum. So were the servants or slaves carrying a large number of swords? Large number is the direct object. Of swords is in the plural genitive. Propter metum vulnerum et mortis, nautae et milites in bello semper orant. On account of the fear of wounds and of death, sailors and soldiers always pray in war. That's your answer to this question that was up higher. Here it is, number 24. Does the sailor pray? Was the sailor praying on account of the fear of wounds? <clears throat> on account of the fear of wounds and of death, sailors and soldiers always pray in war. Deus orationes multorum Christianorum audivet. God listened or heard the prayers of many Christians both in the plural genitive this <clears throat> this adjective is modifying this noun punyabatne equites loco alieno et angusto were the cavalry fighting in a strange and narrow place remember loco alieno when loco is used has a um, adjective with it it does not need a preposition it can be an um, Naked ablative. Loco alieno. <clears throat>